Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Structures. In this video tutorial, we will understand how to use the graphs from SP16. And we know that these graphs are for the designing of uniaxial and biaxial loaded column. Okay, so first of all, before choosing the graph, which basic data we need to check? The first one is the shape of the column. The shape of the column may be rectangular or circular of the column. Then the reinforcement distribution of the column. In rectangular column, the reinforcement distribution might be on two sides of the column or on the all four sides of the column. The third data we need to check is the grade of steel we are using in the column and D dash by D value. Here the value of D dash is nothing but effective cover of the column. After checking all of this data, we can conclude that which number of chart we can use for the particular example for the column. In this table, you can see which number of graph contains which data. Let's see here, chart number 27 is for rectangular column where the reinforcement distribution equally on two sides of the column. The value for the D dash by D 0 0.05 and FY is 250 and so on. For chart number 27 to 38, they are for the rectangular shape of the column and for the distribution on two sides of the column for different different FY values and different D dash by D values. Three, three FY values considered 250, 415 and 500 and four different D dash by D values are considered 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15 and 0 0.2. So for all of these values that we have different graphs. Now for chart number 39 to 50, these are for rectangular shape of column where the reinforcement distribution is equally on four sides with different values of FY and D dash by D. And from chart number 51 to 62, it is for the circular column. Definitely, if it, is, if it is a circular column, no need to discuss about the reinforcement distribution on which side because it's a circular one and which having the different charts for the FY values and D dash by D values. Now see which values we can determine from SP16 charts for the column. The first one is PU upon FCKBD, then second is MU upon FCKBD square and the third is P upon FCK. Okay. Where the MU is factor moment of the column, PU is factor axial load of the column, FCK is grade of column, FY is grade of steel, D dash is effective cover, B is width of column and capital D is the depth of column. Now let's see the different graphs provided in SV16. Okay, see here the twin graphs are the charts are starting from 27 number of chart. It is on one, 112 page. And as per discussion, our 27 number of chart, it is for rectangular column and then two sides of distribution of reinforcement D dash by D 0 0.05 and FY is 250. Let's see the values. FY is 250. It is written. It is written here. Then also you can, you can see here the value of FY is 250 Newton per mm square. The D dash by D value is in the next block is 0 0.05. You can find shape of column section in the diagram also it is written in the title of the chart and here is a 27 number of chart the next one is 28 number of chart 29 30 31 31 is changed now it's changed for fy 415 okay and so on now see and the values with we can determine from these particular graphs at pu upon fckbd it is given on the y-axis Right? The values for the PU upon FCKBD, it is given on Y-axis. Values for MU upon FCKBD square, which is on the X-axis. And these curves, these curves mention, these curves are for the values P upon FCK, where here P value is for percentage of reinforcement. Now let's see the example and understand how to use this particular graphs. Let's read the example. The size of column is 500 by 500 mm. The factor axial load is 2000 kilonewton. The factor moment is 270 kilonewton into meter. Grade of concrete we are using is M25. The grade of steel is FE415. And the reinforcement is equally distributed on four sides of the column. Find the percentage of reinforcement from the graph. 
data. Okay, so let's read the given data here. B given data B and D is equal to 500 kilonewton. FCK is 25 newton per mm square. F5 415 newton per mm square. Actual force PU that is factor one. 2000 kilonewton mu is 270 kilonewton into meter it is also factor one now our first step is to choose the number of graph and to choose the graph which different data we need to check we already see this basic data we need to check to choose the graph the first one is the shape of column okay the shape of column is square and which is in terms of rectangle so we are taking rectangle shape of column correct and for the rectangle shape of column, you can see from chart number 27 to chart number 50 is given. Now for next one, the reinforcement distribution of the column. Okay, so as per example, it is given the reinforcement distribution is equally distributed on the four sides. Okay, now see from chart number 27 to 30. Now it is for the reinforcement distribution on the two sides. The next table from 39 to 50, it is for the reinforcement distribution for the four side of the column. Okay, so we are we can choose from chart number 39 to 50. The next data we should consider is the grade of steel. Okay, our grade of steel in example is 415. Now check uh, which date which chart is having 415 grade. Okay, from 43 to 46. Okay, so our graph should be the graph number we are considering from 43 to 46. And the last value we consider P dash by D value. Okay. In an example, you can see there is effective cover is not given. D dash is the effective cover. Okay, so let me just choose the value of effective cover. I'm choosing here 50. Okay, so D dash by D that is 50 upon 500 that is 0.1. Okay, now let's see which, is, which having the data 0.1. Okay, for the graph number 44, it is having rectangular shape of column. The distribution of the reinforcement is on four side. F5 is 415 and D dash by D value is point. So we are choosing graph number 44. Okay. Let's see if our size of column is different. If our size of column is 450 by 600 mm. And if the effective cover is D dash that is 50 mm. Then our D dash by D value is somewhat 0.083. Now see here there is no particular graph for the 0.08 value. Because we have graph only for D dash by D value. 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15 and 0 0.2. So what we are doing? We are choosing nearest increase value and the nearest increase value of 0 0.08 is 0 0.1, right? So if D dash by D value is not exactly from this four values, you can choose the nearest increased value. Okay, now for this example, we are choosing chart number 44. After that, how to use this particular chart? which data we require to use this particular chart there are three different datas we require okay that is pu upon fck bd mu upon fck bd square and p upon fck okay which data we need to find here that is p that is percentage of reinforcement right so number three value we have to determine so if number three value we have to determine these two values we required because as we know to determine any of these three values at least we know any of this two value. So if we require P upon FCK, then, then PU upon FCK into BD and MU upon FCK BD square we require. Definitely we can find these two values because we have the values of PU and MU. Let's determine these values. PU is 2000 kilo Newton. So I'm writing in terms of Newton. 2000 into 10 is to 3. FCK is 25. B and D is 500 by 500. 500 and 500. So it is 0.32 and the mu upon fck bd square is mu value is 270 to 10 to 6 in newton into mm on 25 that is fck b and d is 500 and 500 okay and the value is 0.086 correct now with the help of these two values we can easily determine p upon fck how let's understand this now see here how to use the graphs as we know we have two values and we can determine the third value the PU upon FCK BD is 0.32. The second value is MU upon FCK BD square that is 0 0.086. Okay. And we are using chart number 44. So here is a chart number 44. Now see where is the value of PU upon FCK BD. PU upon FCK BD you can see here on the vertical axis the values for PU upon FCK BD is given. 
and for the mu upon f c k b d square it is given on x axis right okay and the third value which we are going to calculate that is p upon f c k and here the p upon f c k value is for all this curves now see p u upon f c k we have curves for point twenty six the larger one value then point twenty Point two four, point two two, point two zero, point one eight, point one six, point one four, point one two, point one zero, zero point zero eight, zero point zero six, zero point zero four, zero point zero two, and zero. Correct. And if we see in x-axis, it is start from zero to point one, point two, point three. So basically, there are One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are total ten fractions on the x-axis. So each and every square is the value of zero point zero one, right? So this particular value will be zero point zero nine. This value we have zero point zero five. Okay, and so on, right? Now on the vertical axis we have total. There are five fractions. Each square box value having. 0.02. If the value of this line is 0.1, then the value of next line will be 0.12. Let me write here 0.1. Then next one is 0.12. Then next one will be 0.14. Then 0.16. And like next one is 0.2. Okay. So these type of values will be on the y-axis. Now let's see what is the value of PU upon FCK BD. That is 0.32. Okay, now let's first find point three. Okay, here is point T, and the point three two is here. Okay, so here we have value point three two. Okay, next value we required mu upon f c k b d square. That is zero point zero eight six. Okay, now find where is zero point zero eight six. Okay, on x axis zero point zero eight will be somewhere here. Okay, so here it is zero point zero eight. Correct value less than point one. Correct. So zero point zero eight six will be somewhere between zero point zero eight and zero point zero nine. So I'm right. So I'm taking somewhere between two lines. Right. Draw vertical line from the value zero point zero eight six. Correct. Now, what about zero point three two on y-axis? Also take one horizontal line. Okay. So all take horizontal line from point thirty two value. And where the value is coincide, okay, where these two lines are coincide, you can take the value of curve. Okay, now mark the point where the two lines are coincide. Right? Now we have to find the value of this particular point from the curve. Now let's see the curve values. Here the curve val value, this curve value is zero point zero two. This one will be zero point zero four, and this one will be zero point zero six. Okay. So our value of p upon f c k it should be between zero point zero four and zero point zero six. Okay. Um, I can see it is exactly at the center, so I can easily take zero point zero five. Okay. So here p upon f c k is zero point zero five. And if we want to calculate the percentage of reinforcement, it will be zero point zero five, and f c k will be twenty five. So here the percentage of reinforcement will be one point. Twenty five percentage, correct? Okay. Now, okay. Now let's take one another case. In this case, these two values are given, and this one is unknown. P U upon F C K B D it is given, which is point four, and that is given P upon F C K that is zero point zero eight, and we have to determine the M U upon F C K B D square. Again, I am taking the same graph, chart number forty four. These data are just as an assumption, and I am showing you how to calculate this value. From these two other values, right? Now, which value we have? P U upon F C K is point four. Find the value of point four. Okay, here. So we have here the value of point four. And the next is zero point zero eight. Okay, the curve zero point zero eight. Zero two. Okay, here. So this curve we have, right? So what you have to do? You just have to draw an horizontal line from the P U upon F C K B D that is point four value up to the Curve. Draw the horizontal line from point four to the value of p upon f c k curve that is zero point zero eight, right? Okay. Now coincide these two points. Now draw one vertical line up to the m u upon f c k values. Okay. Now like this. 
so you can see so my this point giving the value 0.1 so let me just write mu upon fck bd square is 0.1 now let's take one another case where pu upon fck bd is unknown and the values are given mu upon fck bd square and p upon fck is 0.12 okay see here the horizontal axis value is 0.14 and the curve value is 0.12 okay so find first the mu upon fck bd square value 0.14 okay so on the horizontal axis this this point is 0 0.1 this will be 0 0.12 0 0.13 and yes this well this point is 0 0.14 correct okay now i'm taking one vertical line from 0 0.14 value to the to the curve value and we have curve value is 0 0.12 okay where is the curve 0 0.12 yes okay now stop your vertical line okay now from this particular point take one horizontal line up to the pu upon fck bd square values it it means extend your horizontal line up to the vertical axis okay so as my vertical value it is and we can find the vertical axis value 0.4 okay so the value of pu upon fck will be 0.4 correct and this is how we can use the bending graphs for the column and we can determine the required value